South Carolina Air National Guardsmen trained to save lives at McIntyre Joint National Guard Base. Swamp Fox firefighters and medics responded to an exercise scenario where a bus carrying Boy Scouts collided with a truck on base, causing a mass casualty incident. It was a very realistic scenario. We have the Boy Scouts over at the pond and, and we have civilian groups coming out here all the time with Starbase and, and everything else. So the scenario was very realistic that we would uh, potentially need to respond to taking care of civilians. Airmen and first responders didn't let heat from the hottest days of the year hinder their actions as they triaged and moved each victim to receive immediate medical attention. Our response today uh, was probably about 20 minutes, but I think that that was a lot of exercise-induced delay. It was amazing the type of care that we could provide to those patients to stabilize them using the basic self-aid buddy care skills. Every member in the guard does self-aid buddy care, so I think that every we would have had a lot more help out there too. It would not have just been the med group responding by any means. It's common for Guard Airmen to have regular full-time jobs not related to their military career, which makes the training for scenarios like this mass casualty exercise important, so Airmen will be proficient and confident in any real-world emergency. It gives them a chance to perform in a less stressful environment because they're simulated casualties. Also, it gave us a wonderful teaching environment. Exercises are, are always great. The training opportunities um, are just invaluable. Reporting for the 169th Fighter Wing and the South Carolina Air National Guard, I'm Tech Sergeant Casey Watson.